Hi there, it's me, Nancy Drew. You're just in time for my latest mystery, Treasure in the Royal Tower. Choose your difficulty level to start off. If you're new to adventure games, you might want to click the tutorial button first for a few tips on how to play the game. Dear George, so much for my Wisconsin ski vacation. I arrived here at Wickford Castle last night, just before a blizzard swept in. The mountain is completely shut down, and the surrounding roads are closed. I think I'm one of the few guests who made it to the castle at all. The place is huge and old, and slightly creepy under the circumstances. You should hear this wind. What's more, the owner, Christy Lane, my father's friend, is away on business. I tried to ask the caretaker, Dexter Egan, how I could contact her, but he said he didn't know. Doesn't that seem odd? I couldn't help feeling like there was something he wasn't telling me. All this makes me a little nervous, but I'm determined to enjoy myself. After all, this is a vacation, right? I have big plans to explore the castle. That Ezra Wickford, the original owner, must have been quite a character to have built such an extraordinary place. It's filled with strange, dead-end corridors, for one thing. And I noticed one of the towers is totally different from the other ones. Of course, I'll have to save some time to meet Jacques Brunet, the French ski instructor. Tell Bess she'll be the first to know of he's half as gorgeous in person as he looks on his website. So, George, I guess things never quite go according to plan. But at least this time, the culprit is just a snowstorm. Talk to you soon. Love, Nancy. Now all I need is a mailbox. like the radiator is broken. Hello, Miss Drew. Did you get squared away upstairs? Yes, thanks, Mr. Egan. My room is charming, but I think there's something wrong with my radiator. It hisses, and there's a clanging noise, too. Would you mind checking it out for me? Sorry about that inconvenience, but you're just gonna have to sit tight for a while. I'm the only one on duty while the owner's away, and around here it seems like even if it ain't broke, it still needs fixing. Last time I checked, there were only 24 hours in a day. And now, to make matters worse, there have been a couple of... incidents. 
What kind of incidents? Someone vandalized our historic library. Really turned the place upside down. The owner, Miss Lane, she's gonna be pretty upset. Why would anyone want to vandalize the library? I have no idea. I straightened up in there before check-in yesterday and everything was fine. Now it looks like a bomb went off. Books everywhere and somebody hacked a big hole in one of the walls. I locked the place up and called the police, but who knows when they'll be able to get here. The police? Was anything stolen? I can't tell, but somebody's definitely after something. What else has gone wrong? Well, this Professor Hotchkiss just called me in a terrible flap, saying our room's been robbed. I went up there, but she wouldn't open the door to talk about it. Wouldn't even tell me what was missing. So what's she want me to do about it? What strange behavior. I'm curious. I wonder if she might open the door to talk to me. Well, Hotchkiss has a pair of ski boots in the basement. The Frenchman's been working on him for her, but he won't deliver him. Says he's a ski instructor, not a bellhop. I hate to ask this, but if you could grab those boots and bring them up to her, it might smooth her feathers. Sure would smooth mine. Can you do something about my radiator? Sorry, not yet. So, how long have you been working here? A while. Okay. See ya, Mr. Egan. Goodbye. Did Hotchkiss get her boots? Not yet, Mr. Egan. Hmm. <laughs> That's a shame. Okay. See ya, Mr. Egan. You're a trooper. Did Hotchkiss get her boots? Not yet, Mr. Egan. Hmm. <laughs> That's a shame. Okay. See ya, Mr. Egan. Goodbye. I should wait until I'm alone. I should wait until I'm alone. Hi, I'm Lisa. Did you hear what happened? Someone broke into the library and vandalized it. Dexter locked it up. He's saying the culprit must be one of us in the castle. Can you believe it? Yeah. Dexter just told me the library is a disaster area and that it's totally off limits. Too bad, huh? I'm dying to see what they did to it. Don't quote me on this, but I think Dexter has an extra key to the library somewhere around his desk. I guess you've really got your finger on the pulse around here. Any other castle scandal I should know about? Oh, we got scandal, honey. Professor Hotchkiss is claiming she's been robbed, for one thing. But the real scandal is downstairs. His name is Jacques Brunet. What's the scandal with Jacques Brunet? va va voom Scandalous cuteness, of course. Didn't you watch the last Winter Olympics? He's France's big cheese of skiing. He holds the record for the 500-meter slalom, but he totally choked at the games. I guess he's washed up now, but at least his looks haven't gone down the tubes. So who's Professor Hodgkiss? Oh my gosh, wait till you hear this. Hodgkiss is this nutty old woman who's always typing and talking to herself in her room. I was walking past her door earlier, and I heard her screaming that her room had been robbed. Wow, did she say what was stolen? Not that I could hear. She just kept wailing, my theory, my theory. I think she teaches history, or maybe a foreign language. 
I thought I heard a couple of French words pop out of her mouth. But don't quote me on that either. I only barely passed Spanish in high school. Do you have a theory about all this? Hardly. I'm just a humble photojournalist covering weird old mansions in the Midwest. And this place is one of the weirdest. Did you know Ezra Wickford, the original owner, shut himself away in here for like 50 years? I wonder why he was so antisocial. Creepy, right? I mean, did we stumble onto the set of As the Castle Turns or what? Well, you probably want to get settled. I wonder what we're going to do with ourselves while we're all cooped up in this place. I'll let you get back to your magazine. Stay warm. The combination is 517, but it's not working.
I wonder if the lock is broken. Did Hotchkiss get her boots? Not yet, Mr. Egan. Hmm. <laughs> That's a shame. Okay. See ya, Mr. Egan. Alrighty then. there, how's it going? I'm dying to find a way into that tower. Where do they usually hide the secret entrances in weird old Midwestern mansions? <laughs> I guess I should know, shouldn't I? Too bad most of the places I've covered aren't any weirder than imitation butter. I wish you'd hurry up and find it, though, so we can check it out. I'll let you get back to your magazine. Stay warm! It's locked. Bonjour, mademoiselle. Je m'appelle Jacques Brunet. So, what brings you to beautiful Wisconsin? Hi, I'm Nancy. I came to ski, but it looks like I'm going to have to find other ways to entertain myself. I told Mr. Egan I would bring Professor Hodgkiss her boots. Are they ready? Uh, yes, I fixed her boots. Uh, but you should be relaxing by the fire, sipping cocoa, Nancy. Not running errands for Dexter. Why is it you American girls never know how to separate business from pleasure? What about you, Jacques? Do you give skiing lessons in Wisconsin for business or pleasure? Well, uh, with the weather so terrible, I suppose I get neither. But you see, I am here for Isabelle, mon petit chou. She is an American studying at the university in Madison, and I've asked her to marry me. That is excuse enough to be in Wisconsin, n'est-ce pas? And besides, I am not the first French work of art to end up here. 
Work of art? What are you talking about? I am speaking of the Queen's Tower, of course. It comes from the Chateau Rochemont in a town in France near where I grew up. Didn't you notice it when you drove in? Why is it called the Queen's Tower? Uh, Marie Antoinette used to visit this tower when she was Queen of France. Until she lost her head in the Revolution, that is. <laughs> A pretty girl should not hear about such ugly things. But tell me, uh, how will you spend your time here, Nancy? I'm dying to have a look inside that library. I heard it was vandalized. Do you know anything? Nancy, a pretty girl should not worry herself with this type of thing while she is on vacation. Uh, I should warn you, Dexter is very protective of this place. He does not take kindly to people snooping around where they should not. Thanks for the tip, but I think Dexter and I are going to get along just fine. Get along just fine, you say? <laughs> ah, a woman who knows her own powers of persuasion. Elle est dangereuse, non? Ciao!